Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about time leaf selection expression. All right. I believe you have seen this particular video in which we have already discussed about the time leaf variable expression. Actually, I'm going to continue from the same point. I will be using the same project. All right. In this project, we discussed about the time leaf variable expression dollar sign and then curly braces and then object dot property. Now in this video, we'll talk about, let me just uh, write down here. I will make use of H1 here. Now guys, we are going to talk about time leaf selection expression. Guys, if I go to our novel controller here, right? So this is our novel object. And this object has got multiple attributes like title, publish date, number of pages, price, then genre, and then one more object, right? So selection object means we are going to select this particular object and then we'll read the attributes of this particular object. Okay. So if I go to this particular class, I can see all the attributes, right? So what I mean by this, like I'll go here. What I want to do is I will take a div tag first. I will explain the reason that why do we need a div tag. So I'll take this div tag. Now as we are going to select this particular object called novel object because if I go to our model right if I go to novel controller if I go if I go to our model I can see that that this object name is novel object okay so this novel object this particular parameter hold this object right so we'll use novel object this one okay so I'll go here so the very first thing that we need to select our object so how do you select we use the take th current object equals to dollar and then curly braces right so this is you know this particular thing is known as expression language correct this variable expression will give me an object okay now i have my object i can retrieve i can read the attributes of this particular object guys right? so i'll copy all the attributes from here and i'll paste here all right now guys what do you see here so this is th current object so I'm holding the object and then here we are trying to read the object, right? The syntax of selection expression is different. We don't use dollar sign. We use a star or asterisk. Okay. We use a star or asterisk sign to read attributes of an object. Okay. So this is my object. TH current object is my object, right? Here I've used time leaf variable expression, right? And then I'm using selection expression selection expression to select the attributes of this particular object okay now guys here i'm already pointing to this particular object there is no need to use object dot property i can take this out i can simply use the property to read this particular attribute from the object okay so what do i have i have my object here and then i'm reading these attributes from my object by using selection expression language. Okay. Now let me just restart our application and then let's see the result and stop. Now guys, let's go to localhost 8080. 80, click on link and if you go down here, time leaf selection expression and then you see here the same set of data. One Indian girl, publish date, number of pages, price, fiction and everything, right? So this is how you can the time leaf expression language to read the attributes of an object. All right, guys. Now, if you want to create some difference, you can just write here title, published, pages, price and gender. Now, if I go and restart, let's see the outcome. Let's go and refresh. What is here? Title, one Indian girl. Published, this is the date. Pages, 280. Price, 550. Gender, fiction. All right, guys. So this is how you can go and make use of time leaf selection expression language to read the attributes of an object. All right. Now, guys, one more thing. Can I use the same syntax to read the other attributes. 
for example i want to read the author information right so i'll copy as it is here but this time i'm going to put these attributes i'm going to use expression language star expression language to read the author information to read the first name last name city and country of the author right the only difference here is the only difference is i am using the selection expression outside of the division tag okay so this div tag holds my object but i am trying to read the object information outside of the div tag all right let's see the behavior okay let's run the application let's go to localhost 8080 and then click on the link what do you see error page let's go and see the error message what it says it says author dot first name now guys here you see there is a problem while reading this author dot first name this particular thing why because your object the scope of this object is inside the div tag so you cannot read you cannot read the values of the object outside of this scope right so now if i take all these and put inside the div tag here okay and then let's see the behavior now control s start stop now if you see here i'm reading all the attributes inside the div tag okay let's go and hit localhost 8080 click on the link and then here you see the author information chetan bhagat mumbai india and all right so guys basically the point is your ts colon object has a scope so you can read the attributes within the scope only not beyond the scope okay second thing what if if you want to reuse can you reuse the same object like for example if i use th i'm using another div tag and then object equals to and let me copy the same object novel object right and then close here i'm going to use say this time spring this is another tag right so th colon text equals to say for example selection and i want to read what let's say novel title okay so i will use here novel title and i want to use say author dot first name okay like this okay so basically what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to read i'm trying to reuse the same object in this particular div tag where i have to spend okay so guys let me just restart our application let's go to the application all right so here you see right novel is one indian girl and then author's first name is chetan so guys point is like you can reuse the same object multiple times right but then you always have to make sure that there is a scope right there is a scope of the th colon object so you cannot use uh, object attributes outside of the scope right guys so guys in this video we have covered the syntax of the time leaf selection expression all right guys so guys in this video we have seen how can we go and make use of the time leaf selection expression we use selection expression to select the object properties all right guys thank you for watching guys bye for now